Hello friend. This is Muhammad Zahid with Engineering Training Platform. We are going to discuss about PLC inputs and outputs. PLC sequence of operation, CPU, input devices, output devices, HMI, programming devices and programming concept. For my previous lecture, I already link in below description and really I appreciate and thanks all of my friends for the feedback. If you are new in my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the further notification. Yes friends, starting from PLC input and output devices. Input devices such as switches and sensor that send electrical signal to the CPU through input channel on input signal modules. Output devices such as actuator which are used to control a machine or process. And output devices receive electrical signal from the CPU through output channels on output signal modules. PLC have two type of IOs, digital or we can say digital on discrete IO 0 or 1 and analog IOs. Digital IOs either on or off and connected to digital IOs channel. Analog IOs use variable voltage or current signals and are connected to analog IOs channel. Analog IOs channels use for variable application such as temperature, pressure and rate of flow etc are being to control. PLC sequence of operation a step mentioned in the picture then after startup PLC is scan with the following sequence of operation. Read inputs. The CPU read the status of input devices and record it. And after that, execute the user program and change internal memory values as needed. After perform internal diagnostic and communication task. And finally, send the information to output device through IO system. And this process is repeated continuously when it is on run mode. I discuss about CPU in my previous lecture. But here is some detail. CPU is the brain of the PLC and store the user program. Repetitively execute the PLC scan and CPU receive input information from input channels and send output information to output channels. S7-1200 CPU have a small number of IO channel in the same housing. And most of these CPU can connect IO signals modules for additional IO channel. S7-1200 and S7-1500 CPU have one or more communication port. When different type of communication required, then one or more modules is being used. Digital input devices such as push button, selector switches, limit switches, proximity switches which are shown in the picture. Digital input devices represent 0 or 1. It can operate on AC or DC current. Voltage and current level is depend on the type of device. Input modules convert these values to a low level DC signal that represent the on or off condition of the input device. And input devices values store in the CPU. Analog input devices provide a variable voltage or current to an analog input signal module. An analog input signal module convert each current or voltage values to a low level DC signal and send it to the CPU. This variable voltage in current represent a condition a machine or process such as temperature, pressure, vibration, rate of flow, weight, fluid level etc. 
for each analog input device receive a latest value from the devices and store in the CPU. Now we will discuss about the output devices. You can see in the picture the complete example for the tank filling and drain. Digital output devices on or off signals from digital output modules. And digital output signals used to change in process such as starting or stopping a motor or pump. Analog output devices receive a variable voltage or current signal from analog output modules. For example, analog meters show output condition for a machine or process. AC drive used in PLC which is controlling the pump or motor to fill and drain a storage tank. Human machine interface. This topic we already discussed in my previous lecture, but here is some detail. HMI used for monitor and control a machines or process to make easy for operational and maintenance personnel. HMI have graphical display and we have the future in the HMI as a mobile device that allows freedoms of movement for maintenance crew. Programming device is a often a personal computer with software that enable to program a PLC. And this programming device, actually this is a engineering station which they are going to use for modification, for operation and maintenance. For programming concept, I already described the two languages, ladder logic and function block diagram and also define here how the ladder logic convert into function block diagram. There are multiple way to program a PLC. PLC programming languages depend on the PLC manufacturer. Recent years, programming languages defined in an international specification IEC 61131. Two of the programming languages are defined in this specification are ladder logic and function block diagram. This is end of lecture. Please help to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.